All right, take two, and welcome back to another video. I barely started this video, and then a lot of it got deleted, so we're trying this again. All right, welcome back to another video. Today, we just barely did a little bit of work we started taking off the accumulators on this new tractor that we got i'll get into that in a minute but the bubbles are out accumulators whatever you want to call them for the suspension they were out we took them off my cousin just barely took them with to town left quite a big of a mess quite a bit of a mess a lot of hydraulic oil got on the ground everything but that's fine uh we just didn't want to do it in the middle of the caliche pad we brought it here to the end just to get a little bit out of the way but this right here this is our new tractor that we bought this year it's a 8245 it's a 2020 model and it's in surprisingly really good condition for the amount of hours that it has in there rims and everything is still shiny yellow the whole front suspension is still very very green very 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 minimal scuffs everywhere it's in very very good condition and this tractor has 10,000 plus hours on it. So it's quite ridiculous. I believe the dairy just used it for a corn shredder, just shredding corn all day long, maybe inside a building or something. So it just has a ton of PTO hours, but next to no, uh, next to no transmission hours. So should be a really good tractor for us this year. And it's now uh, after lunch. And we got ourselves a new project. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all remember last year, but we bought a new lamp plane last year. And uh, we needed it out here because one of ours is terrible shape. It's like completely cracked in the middle already. It's, it's terrible. But we bought a new one last year. We now took that one, brought it to our other farm down south. Now it's kind of stuck over there. We've been using it there and we don't feel, feel like bringing it back again. So yeah, we bought another one. So this one, it's a land plane, but we just got to kind of build it ourselves. It got the two legs for the back where the tires mount onto. And then there's this whole arm in the front here. We got to bolt it all together. It's pretty much a DIY kit almost. Got to build it ourselves. So we're going to go get a sky track from a friend. Going to just help it unload it because it's quite heavy. I know our forklift couldn't do it. Plus then we have to drive away so we got our forklift. So we're just gonna unload it here onto this caliche, gonna bolt it all together, and then we'll have ourselves a new lamp plane. Piece by piece, we'll unload it, and last part we might have, might just have to use a chain and do the whole thing all at once to put everything on the ground. Piece by piece, that's coming up, coming apart. Bunch of heavy pieces though. It's gonna take a while to assemble. It'll be nice and fun. It works. It's gonna be a beefy lamp plane, I'll tell you that much. Probably, uh, definitely our heaviest one for sure. So this one should definitely do a better job than any previous one we've ever owned and also the cheapest as, as weird as that sounds and all of our bolts and everything we should use to put it together should all be in this bucket right here I can never get this guy open Yep, all the parts, all right in here. Perfect. Could be a little bit tricky. We're just gonna have to slide that guy through right here because it has to bolt on to these plates right here. It'll work. Oh, yeah, I'll go down for a 
Keep sliding. Oh, Slowly coming together. What? It's a DIY build your own lamp plane, but let's not send all the bolts with. So you gotta go to town and get your own. So now while we wait for more bolts, we got the, got the bubbles back from town. So now we're gonna put these back on the tractor over here. It's not very difficult. Actually quite simple. Well the suspension's definitely working. Well the tractor suspension is working now. Earlier it was uh popping up a ton of codes with the EGR and DEF and you name it all, that was popping a bunch of codes previous owner they had deleted it but they did it wrong so they they came out here today and did some surgery on the onto this tractor so now now it should work but it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't let you go above 1000 rpm so now they have to come back hook up the computer to it they must must have done something i guess in the process they got to come back and quickly change a couple of things again and i believe we should be good to go and then and then this tractor will finally be fuel ready and actually be able to work well this lamp plane is now done tightened up all the bolts all around we still got it on the sky track uh this back scratcher part here the culture's back here just to kind of uh i guess sand fed the ground a little bit somewhat behind the lamp plate just that way it's not flat and the sand's not blowing everywhere we're having a little bit of an issue with that with that ratcheting arm right there once that's all the way as close as it can be it's still scratching here, so you can't quite disengage these if you ever want to, so we haven't quite figured out a solution, but uh, I guess we'll figure that out another day. I'm gonna go see if I, my brother needs some help. He's currently turning on a pivot, or three pivots actually. I'm gonna go see if he needs some help opening tips. I think there's gonna be quite a few tips closed. I'm gonna go help him real quick. I still have an hour or two left in my day, and then after that, I think it'll be it for today. Looks like this pivot is almost ready to go. Just gonna open up a few more tips. And it looks like I gotta help him fix one hose there at the pivot. And then I believe this, this whole area here, which is three different fields that are all connected together, 
then all of it should be up and running. Tips are open and the one hose is also fixed. There's only one hose that had busted off of there. Now I'm gonna go turn on one or two more wells, depending on how much pressure there is. And I'll go from there. A little bit of a trashy mess right here that needs to be cleaned up one day, but we'll get to it eventually. There's water. It's actually making good pressure, but this one needs to be squeezed to 60. And then with being squeezed to 60, we're currently getting, if that is accurate, 150 gallons a minute. If that is actually, that does not seem right. Uh, if that's doing 150 gallons a minute squeezed at 60 pounds, that means there's at least a 20 horse in there, and there's not a 20 horse in there. There's, I believe, a 10 horse in there. But that is not right. Well, I don't know how accurate these are, but I, I almost don't believe it. 150 gallons a minute. Huh. Oh, well, if that's right, then that's some good water. Curly, you got... 17 pounds of pressure in the line. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn on that one right there in the corner too. Cause I think I can handle at least like 25 pounds of pressure. So this is not too bad yet. See how many gallons this guy will do. This one, I don't think it's gonna do more than 80 because the oil field kind of messed up this well for us. Now it's never been as good as it once was. Makes good pressure though. That one can be at 50 pounds. Yeah, that, that one's more right. That one's 80 gallons-ish, back and forth, something like that. Yeah, what was it, two years ago, I think? We had a, I think we had barely made this well. And the oil field was like, we're gonna do seismic stuff. I don't know what exactly it's called, but they, they go over our, they went over this whole big area here with the machine looking for oil and whatnot. And then with all that vibrating, caused this well to get way too much sand in there. And they ruined that well for us. And we told them, hey, you ruined our well. Try to fix it. And they paid for some fast bailing, but it never helped. It, they, they ruined it for us, which, was, which sucked because in the beginning we could easily get 120 gallons per minute out of this well. Now we're only down to 80, which I don't know. Sometimes you just get unlucky with certain things like that, but that's why I'm thinking that other well that I just barely turned on. So I'm thinking that one is pumping 150 gallons per minute because I thought in my head, I thought they were both 10 horses. So this that's a 10 horse. If that one would be open flow, it would be doing right at 120 gallons a minute. Because the wells here are actually quite shallow, a 10 horse can do 120 gallons pretty easily. But if that was also a 10 horse squeezed to 60, doing 150 gallons, I find that hard to believe. So I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure. I guess I don't know quite what's, what's in there, but there's good pressure here now. All three, all three pivots are running good. I'm gonna head home now and call it a day. But as for the rest of this video, I do appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.